Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm going to show you real quick a chat GPT Twitter hack that I learned from Ryan Huggins from the Bull Runners. And I'm going to show you guys some of that knowledge that he dropped on us and how that could help make things a lot easier and more effective for you when you are doing any kind of uh, social media on Twitter. This is something that has been an amazing hack. So stick around for that. And of course, I'm still in Asia's 2500 contest. So let's make it do what it do first and foremost let's give it up for my friend and mentor mr ryan huggins he is always crushing videos just like this one he just barely put out about an hour ago just about didn't quite make there. However, we are on our way. We still have that overhead resistance right here at 40 cents. He's just crushing videos. Him and Nick Anderson. So if you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the Bull Runners. Go ahead and keep yourself up to date like I do every single day with the Bull Runners Club. These guys are, you know, giving us up to date information in crypto news. So go ahead and subscribe to that. Now Ryan bestowed some knowledge upon us about Twitter, and that has to do with a chat GPT hack, which I will kind of give you a heads up and show you right now. So if you're unfamiliar with chat GPT, this is chat GPT. Chat GPT is a AI software. It's a learning software. Uh, the more that you prompt it, the more it's going to give back to you. Now, when you first download and you sign up for a free, you know, uh, online and so forth, you're going to get to uh, a screen that looks like this. And then anything that you type down here into the prompt, it's going to go ahead and think and try to put that together. But it is a learning AI software. So the more prompts you can give it, the better. So we went ahead and downloaded an additional extension. And that extension is this extension right here. This extension, what it does is it gives you a bunch of different prompts. And those prompts are going to help you utilize chat GPT much better because these prompts are already designed for what we're looking for. And in this case, we're looking to use Twitter. So if you are unfamiliar uh, with the prompt right here, it is, excuse me, it is AI PRM for chat GPT, as you can see here, you download this and you go ahead and attach it to chat GPT. And this is what you're going to get. I'm going to go right up here in the search section real quick. I'm going to type in Twitter. And it's going to bring up some prompts that are going to help you with Twitter. And in this case, I'm going to do a Twitter thread with one click. So I'm going to click right on this right now. By doing this down here, it says enter the topic or idea. So um, how about um, benefits of website design? There we go. You don't have to be the best speller in the world to make money online, that is for sure. So while ChatGBT is going ahead and doing its thing, right now it's kind of breaking down an intro. It's kind of breaking down the different kind of threads on some of the benefits that you can have with whatever topic that you're putting in there. And by breaking down threads for you, this is going to make it much easier for you to go ahead and utilize this for Twitter. This is also going to allow you to reach your audience a lot faster and ultimately it's going to save you time. So not only do you have the time to put this out, you'll have time to do more stuff in life and uh, have more time to put out better content. So let's go ahead and check out what ChatGPT has already put together for us. So it broke things down with the title. It says, Boost Your Business with a Well-Designed Website. It gave us an introduction right here. So we can have a nice introduction on the reasons why. It gave us the first thread, you know, on the first impressions. It talks about the second thread, improving your search engine rankings. It breaks down all that information. The third thread, building trust with your customers. The fourth thread, increasing sales and revenue. The fifth thread, stay ahead of competition. These are all fantastic points. And of course, it gives you a conclusion right here that will kind of wrap everything up for you. So if you go ahead and go down to Twitter right here, we're going to say, hey, what's happening? Let me go ahead and open it up so we can go ahead and do a tweet. I'm going to go right back here to ChatGPT. I'm going to go right up to the top. 
We take this title. It says boost your business with a well-designed website. So I'm going to copy this right here, just like this. Bring it right back over to Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and smack that title in there. And of course, I'm going to hit space, give it a little bit of room. Now, for those of you guys know or are familiar with Twitter, Twitter does not give you very much room to put information in, and that's why you have to create threads because it's very limited on the number of characters that it will actually allow. So we're going to go here. We're going to talk about the intro and I don't think all of this is actually going to fit into the thread. So my thought is to first copy it like this. We'll see what's going to fit in there. We might have to break it up into um, two threads instead of just one. So I'm going to paste everything in there. So this is going beyond the 280 characters visible timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it right from here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to delete this right here. We'll remove it. And this is pretty close right here. So now I'm, I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to add another tweet. I'm going to go ahead and continue the conversation. I'm going to paste this down. This is pretty close to filling up right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and add another tweet. And let's go back to ChatGPT real quick. Just talking about the first thread. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of this information. We're going to continue to do this all the way down through. All right. So we're going to paste this in here. Now this right here, as you can kind of see, it's a little bit over characters, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and go back to ChatGPT. We're going to add another tweet. Thread number two, so you can kind of see. Here we go. Paste that in there, just like this. That was perfect. I'm going to go ahead and add another tweet. As you can kind of see, we're talking about the third thread, building trust with your customer. Fantastic points when it comes to uh, building a website, for sure. You want to make sure your website is engaging customers. You want to make sure it's helped driving traffic. So these are all valid points. That was very close to going over. That's close. That's perfect. Go to another one. Number four, increase in sales with revenue by showcasing your products and services. It's another benefit of having a fantastic website and what that can do for you and your exposure for your company, whether you're selling a physical product or a service. Right here, we're going to go down. We're going to add another tweet. We're going to go down to number five. Talking about stay ahead of the competition. Here we are. Copy this, which is also a valid point. A, a nice up-to-date website that is user-friendly and uh, aesthetically pleasing, along with uh, kind of keeping that information easy to use, easy to follow flow is always key. Now we're going to talk about in conclusion. Right here. I'm going to copy this one. Go back to Twitter. All right. Now I'm going to paste this in. Now I'm going to go ahead and before I go ahead and tweet all of this information, I am actually going to pull up one more thing. So first and foremost, I'm going to go back up to the top, okay? Because we're going to want to let our Twitter people that are reading our Twitter know how many are in the actual tweet. So we're gonna start with this. We're gonna count them backwards right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven, there's eight, and we're gonna go ahead and make that nine. So we're gonna add one at the end. So I'm gonna come back up here to the first one. I'm gonna write one of nine. So they understand that there's nine there. Come to the second one right here. We're gonna make this one. Two of nine. Now in this one, see how some of it is in red? We're going to go three of nine. Now what we need to do is we need to take out about 26 characters. So let's see where we can kind of remove something, some of the fluff. So that way people kind of still get the core of it. So first impressions matter. Well-designed website can make a positive first impression on your visitors. 
which can translate into increased engagement in sales. Hmm. What I think we should do is take out on your visitors. We'll see how that goes. Oof, we're close. We only need nine more. So first impressions matter. A well-designed website can make a positive first impression, which can translate into increased engagement in sales. Visually appealing website with a user-friendly interface can create a positive user experience. And visitors come back for more. Let's try that. No, plus sign is just a little bit too much. Comma is just too much. Wow, it's just like right there. So I am going to go ahead and try to take this out. And I'm just going to leave that comma. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. That way it fits within the parameters, which is the whole reason why we have to basically do threads and we can't make paragraphs. You know, as of right now, Elon Musk is uh, talking about making some changes. So it'll be exciting to see what happens in the future. I'm going to delete this one right away. I'm going to delete this one twice. And now I think we should be all set on this one. I might have to take out this period. There we go. I think that would be fine. Now we're going to go to number five of nine right here. Not too shabby, right? Five slash nine. Kind of walking my way through it with you guys. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take out this. Uh, I'm going to take this out right here. Now I'm going to take the computer out. Now we should be all set there. Let's go down to the next one. Six of nine. There we go. Six of nine. We're rocking and rolling. Oh, we got six. We're going to take six of these things out. So let's start with these ones. Oof, negative one. I'm going to go ahead and take this period away. Boom, perfect. Let's go to this one. Seven of nine. This looks pretty good. Everything there looks pretty spick and span. Let's go to this one. Eight of nine. This one's got some information in it. We're going to have to take a quick look at this one right one more time real quick. So in conclusion, a well-designed website is essential for building businesses to looking to establish a strong online presence. By investing in a professional-looking website, you can attract visitors, build trust, increase sales, and stay ahead of the competition. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to leave that right here. I'm going to take these out first because I have an idea. I'm going to go all the way back and where it says stay in head of competition. All right. I'm going to take out the so what are you waiting for? All right. Now we're going to tweet one more. And in this final tweet, and one more tweet. Nine of nine. Now, why did I go ahead and talk about choosing a website? Well, I went ahead and talked about choosing a website because we have an amazing website builder. Excuse me here. I don't want to pull this up. My computer's a little touchy. I apologize. Going all the way down. All the way May, as they say. Dun, 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 dun. Should have probably already had this up here, but it is all good in the hood. All right. Ah, oh, this thing is super touchy. But hey, not for nothing. Certainly check out Vincent Ortega's Quantum Affirmations. That is another whole thing that we can talk about that is absolutely amazing. All right, computer. Cooperate with me, would you? Here we go. Now I'm going to go over to my landing pages right here, and I'm going to copy this capture page right here for a digital free 14 day trial we have everything already done for you click back into twitter and go ahead and paste this in i'm going to maybe write a quick sentence real quick
I'm going to write, try our amazing software with a 14-day free trial in quotes. No. No credit card required. Click here. Boom. And we are done just like that folks it is going through it is thinking it says something went wrong refresh what i'm going to do is give it a second as you can see down below it was trying to go ahead and put all of the threads because we are putting everything all at once now when i hit refresh it is going to go ahead and refresh for us and that tweet will be in your twitter Dun, 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 dun. all right what is happening here it is guys it just refreshed so now tweet number one boost your business with a well-designed website in today's digital age having a website is essential for businesses of all sizes a website is the online face of your business and it is often the first point of contact with the customers yes it is now you can kind of go ahead and see going all the way down through these different tweet uh threads as they open them up and it promotes and it goes all the way down through the threads then people are going to go ahead and start to see this and start to help identify you more as a professional in the industry because you are putting in that work and each one of those things are designed to go ahead and go down and have them basically not only identify you as the person who is intelligent in the situation but go ahead and uh, click through so all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to use ChatGPT to have a quick thread Twitter hack. Uh, if you like any of this content, you know, feel free to subscribe and click the link below and leave a comment. And uh, certainly I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great night. Peace.